What's up guys, Rexer here, and I got my new intake for my car. Um, XYZ tuning. It's just a random intake. Everything you got in the box. Gotta install this all. Okay, here's all the parts out of the box. Looks pretty nice. I'm just gonna install that where the stock intake goes. It's a cold air intake. So yeah, let's get to it. I just took that filter off, it went right here into that. It was just two bolts. And now we gotta remove the mass airflow sensor so we can take this thing off and put the new intake on. Mass airflow sensor off, and I'm taking this off just to uh, have more room to work with it. Took that off. Yeah, let's keep going. Yeah, might as well clean up your engine bay while you're gonna do this because my car is pretty old and it needs to be cleaned up. I already cleaned up engine bay a decent amount but now that I have this thing off I can get even deeper in there. So my brother decided to come and help me out. We're gonna take the wheel off so we can get this little cover off to get up in here. So we gotta take this thing out and the new filter is gonna get fed into there because it is a cold air intake. It's not a short rain because my engine bay already gets too hot so it needs to be fed in there. Say cool, but yeah, so we're gonna keep going. Alright, I didn't see this in any other YouTube video. To take this thing off, you have to come under your car and take this little plastic thing right here. It was like a little plastic thing, you twist it, it comes off, and there's a bolt up here. See that bolt right there? You have to take that off to get that plastic piece off. Like, it's actually way more than, I, I, I've never seen on any YouTube video on how to do a cold air intake, so I just want to let you guys know that's how you get that part off, if you ever have trouble getting this thing out. So yeah, I'm going to try getting a thing up there and take it off right now. I was able to get that bolt off, and you just pulled this out. This thing is pretty big. That thing was, this screw was like stuck in there. Um, yeah, it is now out. And I can see up the the instructions aren't that clear, but we're just gonna put this on just like that, and then put the other piping through that hole and put the pop filter on, see if it works. Yeah, I'm just gonna put the filter on before I stick this inside the wheel well because it's a lot easier to do it outside the car. And we have to stick that up under my fender. And hopefully it'll come through there. So we'll see. All right, my brother's about to start it up. It's all in there. So. Battery back on? Yeah, battery is not back on. <laughs> Alright. <clears throat> Hopefully she doesn't blow up. I think my, my car sounds pretty good now with this new intake. I get that little blow off sound action from it and my exhaust makes it sound way better too. Um, 
So yeah, I think it's gonna be pretty good. Um, I like it so far. That's the main. I think it mainly gets air from this. Like the pot filter is in there, so it mainly gets air from that. I'm pretty sure. But yeah, um, and I like how I have much more room. I cleaned it all out, so it looks all clean down there now. Not the best it can be, but it's pretty damn close. So yeah, um, I've been working on trying to get my engine bay looking clean because I go to a lot of shows, as you guys see. But that is it. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, my car is doing pretty good. Um, I still haven't got my camera yet, so hopefully it'll be coming in tomorrow. But I'm not too sure yet. Yeah, my engine bay is looking pretty good, I think. And I'm, I'm happy for it. Like, I'm happy with my car. I'm happy with everything that's going on. I'm going to keep making videos for you guys. And that's pretty much it. Hope you guys have a great day. Please give it a like, comment, and subscribe. And peace out.